Hello and welcome to my Pecha Kucha. I am Rain Adrian and I will be talking about the steps and experiences that led to me becoming an artist. So growing up, I had always had an interest in art and uh, I was making drawings and doing crafts from a pretty young age. These are a few of my earliest drawings from the tender age of three. Um, as you can see, I have photorealistically captured uh, my grandmother, my mother, and what I can only assume is my father, for my translator did not label that one. A common theme throughout my art, even from an early age, was plants and animals. I have always had an interest in the natural world. A lot of my interest comes from how I grew up. I grew up in the small rural town of Galena, Illinois, and here I was surrounded by woodlands, nature reserves, rivers, hiking trails, and many, many small critters. I always had a dog to accompany me on my adventures, and I found that my time was best spent rummaging around creek beds, picking through flower beds, and climbing up trees looking for birds to pester. A lot of that love of the natural world is a trait that carries through to today. I love to hike through the forests and rummage around the streams and ponds. I find that I'm most at home in the woods surrounded by trees, and I find delight in finding a common tree frog by my windowsill. So in love with animals, I have taken the liberty to bring much of the outside into the inside. I am slowly but surely surrounding myself with small geckos, intimidating sentient spaghetti noodles, and of course we need to have a cat or two. Um, and I'm excitedly awaiting the day that I can add a dog back into the mix. During the pandemic, these little guys were great company and inspirations. After all, it's really hard to be upset when you're surrounded by goofy little critters doing whatever it is they're doing. I am very fortunate to have been exposed to various ideas and loads of information. I've had opportunities to visit many museums across the country, but my favorite museum is where the pictures on the left were taken, was the uh, National River Museum in Dubuque. I could give a tour of that museum. I've been there so many times. My opportunities weren't limited to just travel in museums, though. I've had an incredibly supportive family, and a major contributor to my interest in art is my grandma, who is pictured top left. She would take me to all kinds of workshops and provide connections with people within the art community. One such connection was Fran Kennedy, an artist from Dubuque. My grandma and her have been friends for a long time, and Fran was kind enough to show me some of her art making methods, as well as how to make some pours. It should be noted that the painting I was working on with Fran is different from the painting that is shown on the far right. Moving into my early college career, I thought I would be working a bit more abstract. So I was doing pours, some abstract patterns, um, flicking of paint, throwing of paint, um, but I was never satisfied with the outcome because I'm a little bit of a control freak and there's always an element of chance when you work that way. Getting further in, I started taking drawing courses in the middle of my college experience, and this is when I had some of my bigger breakthroughs. Up until this point, I had been drawing what I thought I was seeing, but drawing courses had taught me that I needed to focus on what my eye was actually seeing. It was from there that I discovered that I really enjoyed rendering small details. These are a few sketches out of my sketchbook, and you can see that my love of the natural world has come back into play. I made most of these when I was watching a nature documentary, and I would just pause the video over certain scenes and sketch what I saw. 
During this time, I was also making discoveries about what kinds of art actually spoke to me. I fell in love with artists that I felt could capture their subjects adequately and was more amazed by their choices of subject matter and how they chose to combine certain elements. One artist whom I greatly admire and is a huge inspiration for me is Lauren Marks. My newfound enjoyment for capturing details and my new ideas about combining subject matter led me to the Fruit Collection. That's not an official name or anything, but it does sum up what I was doing at the time pretty adequately. Uh, I would pick a reptile or amphibian and pair it with a fruit, occasionally playing off of names of species like the pineapple strawberry Pac-Man frog. Unfortunately, they do not look like that in real life. I got into digital art pretty late into my college experience, but I really enjoyed it. Through my BPMI class, I made some informational pieces that I am pretty proud of. More recently, I have some designs running up the left-hand side there. Those are patterns that I made this semester for my digital apparel design course. Uh, again, you can see the pairing of food and animals comes back into play with the bread boa and cupcake hog nose. Another form of art that I'm getting into later in the game is narrative works. I have no prior experience with narrative works up until now. And so this course had a lot of concepts that were pretty new to me. People as subject matter, well, not necessarily new, is more challenging for me. And uh, I do have to admit, though, that drawing the faces is really fun. Something that I've been eager to do in the last couple of years was working more with ceramic. This is a sculptural piece that I'm still working on and I'm kind of excited about. I've never done anything like this before, so it's pretty exciting. I do have projects in mind for ceramic work, so I do hope to continue to explore that area further. With that being said, I'm in the process of making my way home to Galena, Illinois, where I will try to establish myself a bit more. I have the beginnings of a home studio lined up, and I hope to make connections with the local artist guild. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to my story. Thank you.